you found Make It Move Rolls Royce. Or has it found you? <laughs> Today on Make It Move, we're checking out the RQ-4 Global Hawk, an unmanned aircraft used by the U.S. military. It's not remote controlled and it flies completely on its own, based on programming uploaded from base. Pretty cool. Do you think when they were designing this that somebody said, I, I don't know guys, maybe is this a good idea? Hasn't anyone seen Terminator? I actually think it looks more like the whale from Free Willy. Remember him? Wait, can we have a picture? Ah, there it is. Well, whatever it looks like, the engine is built right here in Indianapolis by Rolls-Royce. And let's get this out of the way right now. This is not the fancy car company. They were once the same, but split in the early 70s. And don't make that mistake in front of Rolls-Royce employees. They hate that. Hi. Emily here at the Rolls-Royce Advanced Turbine Propulsion Facility in Indianapolis. Here they design, develop, and manufacture cutting-edge engines that provide sick power to all kinds of amazing machines, including this, a U.S. Air Force RQ-4 Global Hawk. It's pretty impressive. It's biplane, basically. This thing flies all on its own. It takes off, executes its mission of advanced surveillance, and lands, all with its computer brain. That keeps American pilots out of harm's way. And since there's no pilots to get hungry or tired, the Global Hawk can stay in the sky for longer, up to 36 hours of continuous flight. And that's made possible by the Rolls-Royce AE3007H turbofan. There's not a need to put a very large engine in it, so that's what we specialize are in these um, small to middle size engines. More fuel efficient, designed for the size plane of the Global Hawk. So you're gonna get a lower cost engine that delivers the needs of the customer. The Global Hawk can do some ridiculous things. It can fly across the Pacific Ocean by itself, the only unmanned plane that can claim that. It's also the only unmanned plane that can fly in crowded civilian airspaces right alongside airliners. Its synthetic aperture radar can see through cloud coverage and sandstorms and has given invaluable intelligence to the armed forces in Iraq and Afghanistan. Not a person in it, you know, and capable of flying at over 60,000 feet. That's very impressive. It's a great product. Um, you know, we're known for quality. Don't have any failures, um, so it's, uh, it's rewarding. You know, at the end of the day, you know that what we do is could impact the lives of hundreds of people. No doubt the Global Hawk is one cool robot jet, and with its Rolls-Royce power plant, it's pushing the boundaries of what we think of as an aircraft. But beyond all the insane technology, you know what my favorite feature is? It can send text messages. That's right, when this plane has something it wants its commanding officers to know, it can text them directly to their cell phone. Now that's cool. Back to you, Scott. What? It sends text messages? Oh, I have got to get me one of those. Me too. <laughs> and if you think that's cool and you want to build engines that power robot jets and all kinds of other amazing things, you can find those jobs right here in Indiana and they're easier to get than you might think. Check out the Dream Career section of the site to see more about the people who have these jobs and enroll now to get hooked up with the education and advice on how you can land that killer job too.